friends hope you're doing well welcome to my youtube channel today we are going to talk about uh, fifth set in the series that i have started so in this series i'm i'm talking about how you can teach your kids to learn to read phonetically at home in these small steps or small lessons that i have created like i say in all my videos i'm not a teacher this is the method that i followed for my daughter to teach her to read and um, so I'm sharing this method with you. I have based this entire series on the phonics primer created by the National Rights to Read Foundation. And um, this really helped me when I taught my daughter when she was three and a half years old. She's now six and she's very fluent in reading. She can read books on her own. So I hope you find this useful. Uh, and another thing is um, I am an Indian born and brought up in India. And so this is my accent. I don't, I haven't try to change it in these videos or sound in any different way. So you may think that this accent sounds different because it is different than the UK or US accent. This is my Indian accent. But let me assure you the method that I'm teaching or method I'm talking about is universal. This is how mostly phonetic sounds are taught. So far we have completed four different sets. Again, these sets are something that I have, you know, logically tried to segregate or logically group the lessons. Uh, so basically what we have covered to give you a quick recap we have covered that first you will teach your kids to uh, recognize the alphabets or the letters which is a b c d in uppercase and lowercase both then you will teach them uh, sounds for the letters including the short vowel sounds then you will teach them cv blends or two letter words then you will teach them cvc blends cvc blends with short vowel sounds or three letter words then you will teach them uh, cons two consonant blends in the beginning of the words or two consonant blends in the end of the words. Then you move on to double consonant blends, right? Then you move on to uh, words that become plural by ad simply adding an S. So there are other words which take another spelling when you want to make them plural. So we will only focus on the words that are simple that becomes they are basically they need to be uh, CVC words and then if you add a add an S in the end they become plural and um, after that uh, I mentioned to you high frequency words so uh, I also I also mentioned that I have a different video where you can go ahead and see high frequency words what are high frequency words so you at least um, introduce your kids to the first set of high frequency words the pre-primer set of high frequency words and then you can move on to diagraph. So we have covered this much so far. For all the things that I mentioned right now, I have videos already created for the kids as well. And I'll share the link of the playlist in the description box below. Make sure you watch the videos, make sure you show them to your kids and then you can you know, refer to the videos to get the practice done. Right, because the video itself won't be enough. You will need to get a lot of practice then apart from the screen time or apart from the videos. Now we are moving on to the next set. In this video, I'll only talk about one set because this is huge. Okay, so today we are going to talk about set number five where you will teach your kids the long vowel sounds. All right, so in CVC blends, we taught our kids to read the short vowel sounds. Now we are moving on to the long vowel sounds. So there is one important thing you need to understand about the long vowel sounds. Each long vowel sound can be spelled with at least four or five different combinations. So it's very important that first of all, before you start this step, make sure that your kids are really comfortable and really fluent with the lessons that they have learned before. Make sure you give them a lot of practice and that foundation needs to be solid before you move on to this step. Okay. Now it, for this step again, you will need to give them a lot of practice and uh, teach them uh, each long vowel sound, give them a lot of practice and then move on to the next long vowel sound. Okay. Because each long vowel sound has at least three to four different types it can be sounded okay so now let's get started so let's see long a okay mostly the long vowel sound sound as the letter itself right so a sounds as a 
a it's not abrupt a okay so you have these different spellings you have a as in mail day apron so we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 different ways a long a can be sounded right so give your kids lot of different words in each type right so for each combination of long a give a lot of words to practice also what i generally do and what i have done in my videos as well the words that are making the long a sound color them in different color and the rest of the words uh, write them in different color that way your kids will quickly learn to identify that sound okay then for e again e sounds as e more or less like e and you have gene heel equal deep so you have again six different combinations to make long e then you come to long i which again sounds like i so you have bike high shy so you have five different ways there could be more but more or less i have tried to cover all the possible combinations i'm not saying these are the only combinations these are most now let's move on to o again long o sounds like o o right so for o you have these words go hope coat you have five different combinations for long O as well. Okay. And then finally you have U. Now for long U, there are two different kind of sounds that it can make. So you have long U that sounds as U and you have long U that sounds as O. Okay. So like this, long U can sound as cute or long U can sound as pool. Same set of combination makes cube or june then you have few or blue right so this is how you will teach long vowel sounds now like i said earlier for long vowel sounds you will have to give a lot of practice again and follow the same uh, procedure so first you will show them the lesson or uh, show them the video uh, so first you will show them the video or show them the lesson show them the material that you have explain it to them how it is how the sound is made how are the different combinations acting or how what are the different combinations that you have right then you show them either flashcards or show them list of words and help them categorize right so first if i'm teaching my daughter words with the long a made by ai then i would make a list of the words long a with the combination ai so give them practice let them read then move on to the next combination then move on to the next then move on to the next vowel to give them small books to read see eventually they are going to become fluent only by practicing and they need to be able to read it out of context so basically uh, when you show when i'm teaching my daughter to read say same example ai right so she knows that i have we are reading the combination ai so she will know male brain chain so she knows that is how it's going to sound but how about she reads a sentence and these words come so a sentence could have different words right so that's how they are going to become fluent with it so make sure you give them a lot of books to read Again, another thing is make sure you practice reading and writing hand in hand. I hope these videos are helping you and uh, do leave comments so that I know uh, what you feel about these videos. And if there is anything else that you want me to make a video about, I will also add all the relevant links in the description box below. So do visit the playlist and do show the videos to your kids as well. So thanks for watching and um, we'll meet in the next lesson. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.